Hello and welcome back to another video on how to secure yourself financially. So instead of make a quick recap of the entire things, especially on the beginner guide of financial statement, which after all financial statement is they show you the money, you have four types balance sheets, income statement, cash statement, and statement of the shareholders. So instead of going to, through each one of them, uh, I'm going to jump straight forward on the most common operating assets and liabilities, right? And the reason of that is because so repetitio e mater estudiorum, right, from Latin, well, I just want to make this quick recap of the, the most common operating assets and liabilities and then move on to the another type of operations when it comes to look at a cash flow statement. Because right now, this is more for the operating activities, and then I need to look at the financing and investing activities, which is uh, three aspects that the cash flow statements analyze the cash from one of these activities. Okay, so the most common operating activities that we have is the operating assets and operating liabilities. So operating assets we have is accounts receivables, inventory, prepay expense, so expense that we have, or expense that a company in queue for good and service that has paid uh, and further is going to receive that. So for example, premium insurance like Healthcare for medical coverage or home or vehicle to protect those below me from any accident. Liabilities uh, like mm, lawsuits, uh, disability that prevent you from working, and home health care or long term care specifically, like nurse home care or home health care. Keep looking at other prepay expense, rent, marketing, office supplies, software license, maintenance contracts. Intangible assets is another operating assets like patents uh, that they provide exclusive right to creators to manufacture and distribute that invention over a period of time. Most notable inventions or patterns, maglev, this electromagnetic inductive uh, system for stabilization and suspension for ground vehicles issued in 1969. There is a web there is a popular website called a popular mechanics that actually give you the top 15 patterns that change the world. So maglev is one of them. GPS, the navigation system using satellites with passing ranging techniques, as well as this issue, that was issue in 1974, the electronic device as their patent name uh, or aka the iPhone issued in 2007. CRISP, this gene editing tool issued in 2014. Trademark, which are exclusive image, words, and video that uniquely identify this company from the competition. For example, this famous quote from Michael Buffer, let's get ready to rumble, 
copyrights, exclusive rights to creator of original work, to manufacture and distribute that invention over a period of time, like Twitter, Spotify, Netflix, trade secrets, which are confidential data that the company used to gain competitive advantage for um, formula process or yeah, from formula process and, and or customer list, goodwill, the brand recognition, reputation, and customer loyalty. And another operating assets like uh, investment in affiliates, like joint venture, a partnership between two or more companies to undertake a specific business activity or a project where each part receives a share of the joint venture, such as Crocs and Post Malone. Equity investment, where now this is a company that purchased significant amount of stake of the companies on another company stocks, rising its voice and potentially influence in the another company management decision. So we have Berkshire Hathaway, for example. Uh, Berkshire Hathaway, uh, lead by Warren Buffett, uh, which is a multinational holding company that invests in a variety of sectors like energy, uh, real estate, retail, SoftBank, a Japanese conglomerate that invests in, uh, primarily in technology companies. Uh, Alphabet, the parent company of Google, that it made its investments uh, through its venture capital arm called Google Ventures, primarily in technology companies, uh, as well as uh, TPG, Texas Pacific Group, which is a private firm that invests in sectors like real estate, healthcare, uh, retail. So another operating assets is cash and cash equivalents. So for example, like money market funds, which are funds that invest in very short, they invest in risky, uh, very short term financial, in risky, in risky, very short death financial instrument. In other words, uh, so they invest in back at bank acceptance, debt issued by banks, certified of deposit, this saving certificate with short-term maturity issued by banks, commercial paper, risky and unsecure corporate debt, and the repo, debt issued by the government. So with that, by looking at the most common operating assets, then I look at the most common operating liabilities like Accounts payable, amount of money that you own to suppliers and vendors, usually short term between 30 to 60 days. And here you can find is, um, for example, supply or raw materials, office supplies, service. Accrued expense, which are expense that a company incur for good and service that have been received but not yet paid for, such as wage, taxes, salaries, utility bills, deferred revenue, yeah. obligations that a company have to pay for good and service, 
yeah, for good and service. So obligation, money that a company have collect, and it's an obligations to provide the good and service in the future. For example, subscription service or gift card, short term borrowings which are a type of debt that the company must repay within a year, and they do that to meet their financial needs or to raise capital for short-term projects. Here we have from banks, uh, and they ask for a loan for, for example, to meet their working capital needs, meaning the difference between the working capital, the operating assets, uh, or the current operating assets, okay, meaning assets that a company expects to convert into cash within a year. For example, inventory minus the current liabilities. Are obligations that a company has to pay within a year to the suppliers, vendors, uh, that kind of thing. So, bank no, so banks and uh, loans is one of them. Uh, line of credit, which provides a limit of how much money a company can borrow. Commercial paper. E, uh, financial debt instrument issued by company to raise capital for to, to meet their financial needs. Trade credit, which is money that the which is money that a company promised to pay. At a, a point uh, and a money that a company expect to pay at a particular day pre, uh, based on previous agreement with the clients or your vendors well you receive the good and service the trade credit outstanding invoice so Based on your outstanding invoice as a company, a lender might evaluate that and based on the value of this can borrow you as well as payment advance or payroll advance. So money that a company provides to employees and will be deducted in the next payday. All right. And also look at the income taxes payable, money that a company owns to government uh, based on how much money they make on their income and the tax rate. So a couple examples, corporate taxes in the United States, something around 21% until 2021. Withholding taxes, money that an employee deduct from the gross employees salaries and pay directly to the government and this is to implement the tax as you earn uh, or yeah of the payment of the pay as you earn tax system to fight tax evasion and also uh, for example if you are a sole contractor if you ask individual a freelancer or a contractor you have to file a, a 1099 form right in that case so meaning mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, let's let me look at withholding taxes. Withholding holding taxes.
Okay. Exactly. So if you're working for a company, they actually do that for you. It's a W-2 wage and state wage and tax statement. Okay. Uh, and for example, if you're an US alien, if you're a US alien, da -da -da. Uh, investors and independent contractors are exempt sorry so investors and independent contractors are exempt from withholding taxes but from not from income tax they are required to pay quarterly estimate tax. If this class of taxpayers fall behind, they can become liable to back up withholdings, which is a higher rate that of tax withholding. But federal investors and independent contracts are exempt from withholding taxes, but not from income taxes. And they're required to pay quarterly estimate taxes. Okay. So estimate taxes. So those who are employed have tax withheld from their paychecks by their employee based on the W-4. The employee completes other need to make this payment directly to the government. In the form of an estimate uh, tax, rather than waiting until the end of the year to pay when they file, when they file their annual tax return. W form W four form tells the employer the amount of tax to withhold from an employee paycheck based on the marital status, number of allowance and dependence and other factors. Uh, there is also These are used by foreign persons or business entities to claim exempt status from certain withholdings. Okay. So W-8 forms are internal revenue service. Forms that foreign individuals and business must file to verify their country of residence for tax purpose. Certifying that they qualify for a lower rate or of tax withholding. Exactly. So to find that they qualified for a lower rate or tax withholding. Although the W-8 forms are issued by the IRS, they are submitted only to payers or withholding agents, not to the IRS. Failure to submit the form may result in withholding at full 30% rates that applies to foreign entity. So AW the W-8 forms are used by foreign persons or business entity to claim exempt status for certain withholdings. These, there, are five, there are five W-8 forms, W-8 being forms is used by intermediary that receive withholding payments on behalf of foreign or a flow-through entity. Determine which one of these comes down to either you are an individual or an entity. The type of income you receive and whether you are an organization that qualifies for a special tax treatment. 
are filled out by foreign individuals or entities that lack U.S. citizenship or residency, but have work in the U.S. or earn income in the U.S. This usually applies to a foreign domicile business and non-resident aliens. For example, a non-resident foreign who earn interest or dividends from U.S. issued security will likely file a WABN. While a foreign nonprofit with operation in the U.S. might need to file for WA-ECI. Former U.S. residents who earn retirement income or who occasionally perform freelance work for a U.S. client might also have to submit their form to reduce their tax withholding. A U.S. citizen or resident alien will never have to complete a WA form. Exactly. So for an individual or business that Air income in the U.S. must pay 30% of tax on certain income tax on certain income types on certain income types. Foreign individuals are ordinarily subject to a tax of 30% on specified tax of income and capital gain they receive from the U.S., including interest, dividend, rents, royalties, premiums, annuities. Compensation for service rendered. The form also helps you to claim a reduction of an exception from the U.S. tax withholding. If you reside in a country with which the United States has an income tax treaty and the, and the income you receive is subject to that tax treaty, foreign persons must provide form to the withholding agent or paying if they are beneficial owner. Certificate status, okay, F exactly, by this file, by foreign entity, not individuals. The WA bean is called the certificate of foreign status. Who needs to fill out form WA bean? Form WA bean is used by foreign individuals that receive income from source in the US. Only non-U.S. person file form from this. Mm, but now you are you're withholding a thirty percent tax rate. Form W A B is used by foreign individuals who receive non business income in the US non business income is used by foreign entity who receives this type of income non business income uh, clarify me what what do you mean with non income hello clarify me what does it mean is this non-business income mm, the using is the model text da Vinci will you no Come on, what happened? Okay, Jesus.
Yeah, cookies and local search. What about now? No. Interesting. Not at all. Okay. What about not here? Oh. Okay. That's sad. <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? Hello. It seems that it seems they crash that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, whatever, whatever, whatever. Non business income. Business income and non business income tax. This is in Canada. I give you some example of this. An example of non-business income is in a sentence. Non-business income may include interest, dividend, money collected for lawsuits, and royalties. Mm. Forms WA being is used for a foreign individual who receives non income in the US. Who receives non business income in the US. But I don't receive any interest, dividend, money collected from lawsuits and royalties. <laughs> non business income means all incomes other than business income. And may include, but it's not limited to compensation, rent and royalties from real or tangible personal property, capital gains by a resident of contracting state from alienation, interest, dividends, distributions. Patents or copyrights, royalties, and lottery winning. Non business income should be excluded from the figure report at of this schedule. Mm, means all income other than the business. <laughs> Interesting. So they assuming that they assuming that non income business. Compensations, rents, and royalties for real or tangible person property, capital gains, interest, dividend and distributions, money that you receive from stocks, padding or copyrights, royalties, or lottery winning prize. Anyway, anyway. Mm hmm. Is at capacity now, right now. Mm, anyway, so this is withholding taxes, right? A type of income taxes payable, and also the sale taxes, whether it's from state. City or county, VAT, 
value add tax from which is a, a tax imposed on good and service <clears throat> at every stage of the production and distribution of good and service. The consumers ultimately pay the full debt, but company along the supply chain remit that portion to the tax. Also, excise tax, which are exclusive great so tax to certain goods like tobacco, alcohol, gasoline, guns, and something called the GST, right? The good and service tax, which is a tax that is applied to that. Uh, is usually on Australia, India, and uh, Canada. Okay. You know, it's like, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, and then uh, I look at the notes payable, which is <clears throat> when the borrower. Yeah, when this notes payable, notes payable. Okay. Notes payable are written agreements or promissory notes or temporary notes, promissory notes. Okay, it's are written agreements in which parts agree to pay the other party a certain amount of cash. So after all, this is an agreement or promissory notes between the borrower and the lender that the borrower promised to pay uh, the loan based on a certain conditions. Uh, the payment of principal along the interest and the repayment schedule. So here, Unlike the short-term borrowing, which is a type of debt that company incur within a year or less, now these note payables are an agreement, a reading agreement between the borrower and the lender, which in which the borrower promise to pay the loan based on the condition and terms on that promising notes. The, the principal, interest rates, and the repayment schedule. So here we have is banks. So banks actually issue anytime you ask for a loan that indicates the principal, the interest, and the repayment schedule among other details. Business, where now business can ask for financial institutions uh, like private equity or venture capital to raise its fund trade trade payables which is now a reading agreement of between the company and their suppliers in which they agree to repay that good or service uh, on a new date for also bonds is another example of a notes payable so when the when you when the government creates this uh, certificate and that indicates the principal the loan, the principal, plus the interest, as well as the repayment schedule, well, they actually create a notes payable, or in Spanish, a pagaré. All right. Interesting.
Mm, they kicked me. Okay. Mm -hmm. They kicked me. So this is notes payable. All right. And then I also look at another operating liabilities like warranty, which are is, is a warranty to uh, repay is a warranty to replace um, yeah it's a warranty to fix or replace a defective product or a product that doesn't meet certain quality standards. So this is from manufacturing warranties, software, part, uh, vehicles, uh, service. So this is warranties. Okay. So with that, all right. So now that I make that huge recap of the operating assets and liabilities, okay. Now I'm going to take a look at the next topic of the beginner guy uh, to financial statement. That is the keep reading of the operating activities and then look at the investing activities. So, okay, so the first part of the cash flow statements, uh, the, it analyzed the company net income from the income statements and conciliate that with the total amount of cash used or perceived from operating activities, operating assets or operating liabilities. And to do this, what it does is to first adjust the net income from any cash or adjust any income from non-cash items items that affect the income statement, such as depreciation and amortization, stock compensations, and adjust any cash that was used or provide by other operating assets and liabilities. So this is two conciliation here, or two adjustments. So the first is the net income for any non-cash item, okay, and the total cash that was used or perceived from other operating uh, assets and liabilities, okay. And then I look at the investing activities. So the second part of a cash flow statement show the cash flow from all investing activities like this okay so investing activities the second part of a cash flow state yeah the second part of a cash flow statement show the cash flow from all investing activities from all investing activity which generally include purchase or sale of long-term assets all right, which generally include purchase or sell of long-term assets, purchase or sell of long-term assets. Uh, example of long-term assets. Investment in a company that will benefit the company for many years. Yeah, um, examples, provide me examples. And long term assets. Uh, property plan and equipment totally. And dream machinery and a real world example. Below is a portion of Exxon Mobil Corporation as September 30, as September 30, 2018. Exxon long, uh, long asset 
are highlighted in green of the company balance sheets. Ah, okay. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, the long term options are below the total of curving assets, which is highlighted in blue. Excellent long term assets, including investment and long term receivables, totaling 14.427 billion for the period. Okay. Property plan and equipment, totally. Total of 249.153 billion, which includes the company oil rings and drilling machinery. Other assets, including their company intangible assets, totally. Mm, okay. Investment, advance, and long term receivable. Property plans and equipment. And other assets, including intangible net. Current versus long term asset. Yes, yeah, some example of long term asset includes property, plan, and equipment, which can include land, machinery, building, fixtures, and vehicles. Long term investment, such as stocks or bonds, such as stocks, bonds, or real estate, or investment made in other companies, or intangible assets. Okay, the goodwill acquired in a merger or acquisition, which is cons which consider an intangible long-term assets. Mm -hmm. Okay, so example of long-term assets are property, plan, and equipment, investment in other companies, the goodwill in stock bonds or real estate trademarks cl client lists patents mm, so long terms can be seen as so long term are intangible assets and investment in affiliate can be summarized there no okay so this long term asset whether it is Investment in affiliates, intangible assets, intangible assets of property, plant, and equipment are just examples of these long term assets. Okay. The second part of the cash flow statement show the cash flow from all investing activities. We generally include purchase or sale of long term assets, intangible assets. Okay. So intangible assets, uh, property plan and equipment, uh, investment in affiliate, such as property plan and equipment, as well as investment security. If a company buys a piece of machinery, the cash flow statement will reflect this activity as a cash outflow from investing activities. Because it used cash. If the company decides exactly if you buy a piece of machinery or is you okay, so if you buy a piece of machinery or purchase uh, any intangible assets, whether it's a patent, a patent, a trademark, uh, or a goodwill, you acquire goodwill. Or a, you acquire a plant or a property, this activity is reflected as a cash flow, as a cash outflow, because it used cash. If the company decides to sell off some investments from an investment portfolio, the proceed from the sales will show up as a cash inflow from investing activities because it provide cash. Mm -hmm. 
Mm, so investment activities. So this second part of the statement show the cash flow from all investing activities, which generally include purchase or sales of long-term assets, whether are intangible assets. Okay, whether are intangible assets, property plan and equipment, uh, investment in affiliate. So, for example, if a company buys a property plan and machinery, if a company buys a machinery, so the cash flow statement will reflect this as a cash outflow because it's what uh, from investing activities because it used cash. If a company decides to sell some of this investment from an investment portfolio, uh, it will show up. It will show up as cash inflow from investment activity because it provide cash. Okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. And then financing activities. Now the third part of a cash flow statement show the cash flow from all financing activities. Typical source of cash flow include cash raised by selling stocks and bonds of borrowing cash rate by selling stock and bonds or borrowing from banks likewise paying uh, paying back a bank loan will show us uses a cash flow okay we're gonna read the footnotes a horse call will read the footnotes rang in 2004 kentucky derby he finished 17 but if he had won it will have been a victory for financial literacy proponents everywhere. It is so important to read the footnotes, but the footnotes to financial statements are packed with information. Here are some of the highlights. Significant accounting policy and practice. Significant accounting policy and practice. Companies are required to disclose the accounting policy that are most important to the portrayal of the company's financial condition and results. This often requires management most difficult, subjective and complex judgment. Here are some highlights. The, food, the footnotes to financial statements are packed with information. Significant counting policy and practice. Income taxes. The footnote provides detailed inf information about the company current and deferred income tax the information is broken down by level federal state local and or foreign and the main interest and the main items that affect the company effective tax rate are described pension plans and other retirement programs and stock options mm. And calculations and working capital PA ratio, current ratio, and operating margin. So, what does this term mean and why they show up in financial statement? Okay, so that'll be all for this video. Take care. Bye-bye.